Hello, it's Craig, WJ6F. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program the FT3. Let's get started right after this. Okay, first thing we're going to enter is a simplex frequency. Power it on. Press the VM for VFO memory. Tap on the frequency. Enter the frequency you want. Do national calling. Now, once you have that, press and hold display. Go to signaling. Make sure your tone is off. Go back to the frequency. Press and hold the function memory write. And then you see you got this 25 flashing. If it's white, that means that there's a free spot you can put it in. If it's red, that means it's occupied. So we're gonna go down to two. Once you get the channel you want, go ahead and push memory right, and then you can enter the tag you want and do national calling. Yes, sir. And then once you have that, just press the PTT button and it takes you right back out. Push the VFO mode button, and there you are. That's simplex. Now program in a repeater again. Go to the VFO. Tap on the frequency. Put in the frequency you want. In this case, 145220. Push the display button. Go to signaling. Choose the squelch type you want. In this case, you just want tone. Back back out. Now choose the PL tone you want. In this case, we want 1035. Once that's entered, Go back out, and again, press and hold for about a second the function memory write button. I go to channel 15. And then push memory write. And then go ahead and enter the tag you want. and then press the PTT to take you back out. Push VFO memory, and there you are. Let's see if we can get the uh, repeater to... Yep, and we got it done right. And that's all there is to it for entering in a simplex and a repeater. For programming the FT3 with a computer, I'm gonna be using Chirp the ADMS 11 from the ASU website, both of which are free, and then the RT systems. For the cable I'm going to be using is the Yaesu SCU-19. You can get a cable through RT systems if you buy the full set. Now for Chirp, go to File, be New. You need to get the information from the radio, so the first thing you're going to do Press and hold the display button and turn on the power. Download from radio. Make sure you have the correct port, the vendor you want or manufacturer and the model number. Hit OK. It's going to give you some instructions. Once you've got all that taken care of, hit OK. 
and then hit send and it'll start transmitting. This is not a quick process. Chirp seems to be about the slowest at reading from the radio. All right, then just find whatever slot you want to put your repeater in or simplex. In this case, we're going to use slot 31. And the frequency is 446.240. Enter the, the name. The tone and the PL frequency, in this case it's 100. And if you need to change your uh, shift, you can do that right here. You can also adjust your offset. Once you have the repeaters that you want in there, go back up to radio upload to the radio. Again, make sure you have the right COM port. It'll give you another set of instructions on what to do for uploading. And this time though, you're gonna hit receive first. You'll say wait, and then click okay, and it starts cloning to the radio. Again, not a fast process. And once it's done, it'll reboot the radio. Now, if you look over on the left side of the screen, so you have your banks, and you can change the names of these banks. If you just go one more down to bank names, just click on one that you want to change. Go ahead and change it. This is where you change the settings of the radio, or your APRS. This is where you pick what kind of thing you want to identify that you're using. For the HTs, it's generally 7. You can change your symbol. It has all the different things, the how you want your miles per hour, if you want it standard or if you want it in metric. How you receive, what you're transmitting. This is where you can put in personal text messages for people to read when you send out your beacon. For smart beaconing, you can, there's three different types. You can change the speed and all that on when you want it to signal. Messages that you've received or sent. These are the beacons you've received from other people. Set up your microphone for DTMF. The miscellaneous dimmer how you want the radio to scan and backtracking. And that's all there is to it for Chirp. ADMS 11 is the free download from the Yesu website. And it starts out the same. You want to get the info from the radio, you can either use this icon or you can go here to communication and get data from the three, the FT3. Again, press and hold display, power on. You're going to want to hit OK and send. And once it says it's completed, close that. Brings up all your channels. And up here you have your weather bands, marine bands, Shortwave. Go up to settings. This is where you do all your like, APRS stuff, wires. And change your settings, your messages your filter, what you want to hear or know about. 
your digipath. After you've made all the changes you need to here, just close it out. And this one puts the name of the repeater over here to the right. Frequency we're going to put in now is 446940. It'll automatically populate everything that you need. Go down to the name. Enter your tone, if needed. And then here's your PL code. And that's all there is to it. And once you want to send it back to the radio, you're going to again hit receive to get the weight and then push send. It'll give you those directions again. Press OK. And once you get the completed, close it out. It reboots your radio. And you can go make sure that it did in fact put it in there. There's your first one from Chirp, Mount Disappointment, and the second one we just did, Mount Wilson. Okay, this is the RT Systems one. Get your weather stuff down here, shortwave, marine. You put your groups in here. This is where you enter all the settings again. You can do your, this one it comes at all the Bluetooth, DTMF, APRS, it's all the same. Once you've got everything input that you want to set up, just X out. And then to read from the radio, you go to communications get data from radio, power on your radio, again holding the display and powering on. Gives you the same set of instructions. Hit OK and then send. And once you get the message that it's done, just hit OK. Populates everything. Go down to where you want to enter your repeater. This time we're going to do 445.280. It again populates everything. If you need to change your offset direction, you can do that right here. You can change if you want it uh, FM, AM. And then your digitals, digital narrow and wide. Name of your repeater, this one is San Pedro Hill. Add your tone. And your CTCSS. This one again, we're gonna be using 100. Now once you have all your repeaters set in there that you want, you can go back up to communications or you can use these arrows to upload it to the radio. No correction, that actually moves the cursor up and down. Send your data to the radio, 
It's going to give you again the same instructions. Go ahead and hit receive. It says wait. Okay. And that's all there is to it for programming in FT3, both manually and with the three computer programs that are out there. Again, Chirp and ADMS 11 are free. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And please hit subscribe. When you're done with that, move that cursor a little to the right and click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching.